Greetings Pioneers! Today we will conclude the series on creating subterranean train tunnels. In the previous lesson, we discussed how to make advanced subterranean train tunnel entrances and subterranean train tunnel straight segments. Now we will discuss how to create a 90 degree turn for your subterranean train tunnel. As shown on your display currently, you will be able to create a smoothly curved subterranean train tunnel that uses the quarter pipe foundations previously restricted to exclusively straight line construction. Begin with a short cross section of your straight subterranean train tunnel segment. Place this cross sectional tunnel segment 1 to 2 meters from the corner of the Kirium Company Enhanced Blueprint Designer. Extend foundations perpendicular to the subterranean train tunnel path of travel then extend the foundations forward by an equal distance and place a new subterranean train tunnel cross-sectional segment perpendicular to the original cross-sectional segment. Then use the nudge feature to incrementally place radial guide foundations at each rotational increment. The Sir Digby provided infinite nudge supplementary design package can allow you to use smaller rotational increments but there is a more efficient method for correcting the curvature errors this easier method incurs. From the radial guides, place more subterranean train tunnel cross-sectional segments and extend those segments without overlapping any foundations. These subterranean train tunnel cross-sectional segments easily fill the gaps between the cross-sectional segments attached to the radial guides. However, they do not have the precision required to produce a high-quality subterranean train tunnel curve. To smoothly curve from one radial guide to the next radial guide, we will use the Sir Digby Infinite Nudge Enhanced Positioning Package to precisely align the quarter pipe foundations. But merely meshing these quarter pipe foundations in line with the guides is still not sufficient. As shown on your display, there is excessive clipping due to the geometrical limitations of the quarter pipe foundation when built collinear with the guides. To mitigate unnecessary use of the Fixit Incorporated Anti-Collision Proprietary Technology, an additional quarter pipe segment will be placed along an angle interpolated between the two radial guide segments. This can be done by placing a freeform fixit beam connecting the edges of the nearest radial guide cross sectional segments. Extend a 4 meter beam perpendicularly to the freeform beam. The foundation placed on the end of that beam will be angled at exactly half the angle between the two adjacent radial guide cross sectional segments. The infinite nudge enhanced placement package can be used to reposition the foundation if necessary. The precisely placed quarter pipe foundations will now have a significantly reduced volume of overlapping material which reduce the need for the fixed anti-collision technology. If desired, this method of interpolated foundation angling can be repeated between the interpolated segment and the original radial guide cross-sectional segment for even greater precision and reduced overlapping volume. Placement of the upper quarter pipe foundation can be made using the lower quarter pipe as a reference without need to reference either of the radial guide cross-sectional segments. You have now successfully created a smooth surface on the inside of the quarter pipe subterranean train tunnel 90 degree curve. Creating a smooth surface on the outside face of the curve is significantly easier. Simply extend the quarter pipe foundations collinearly with the radial guide cross-sectional segment. All overlapping volumes will be outside the scope of fix-it or third-party audits and therefore not enforced by any known notified body. By repeating this process with all other radial guide cross-sectional segments, you have successfully created a subterranean train tunnel 90-degree curve. Please do not forget to apply the three primary safety features discussed in the previous lesson at least one minute before your next scheduled external audit. Now we will discuss how to create a sloped quarter pipe subterranean train tunnel. Using the Sir Digby provided infinite nudge enhanced placement package, rotate the subterranean train tunnel straight segment to the desired slope. Inclusion of emergency exits and service tunnels on sloped sections is optional because Fixit Incorporated has scientifically determined that notified bodies are unlikely to audit sloped sections of tunnel. The maximum Terran recommended railroad slope is only 2%. However, this is because Terran trains are not made by the superior Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Incorporated produces trains so superior that they can accelerate upward on a 25% slope. 
Lastly, if the target slope is greater than 12.5%, it may be necessary to create a dedicated slope top and slope bottom blueprint that smoothly interpolates the horizontal tunnel segments and the slope segments. While not necessary, these interpolated slope top and slope bottom subterranean train tunnel blueprints will reduce the need for the Fixit Incorporated Anti-Collision Proprietary Technology. Congratulations, you have successfully created all of the necessary blueprints to create a subterranean train tunnel that is both efficiently anti-corporate espionage and has a sufficiently high likelihood of passing any external audit. The final step is to assemble these blueprints as necessary to meet your efficiency needs. For demonstration purposes, this subterranean train tunnel has been given multiple curves and a slope section. In reality, you will likely primarily use the subterranean train tunnel straight segments. With this final lesson, we now conclude the series on subterranean train tunnels. The remainder of this video will be various gratuitous train noises.